So the best answer here is choice D, Mexopably ependymoma. Let's look at some of the features that makes choice D the best answer here. First of all, you do notice that there is a mass lesion in the distal part of the uh, spinal canal, which is the intradural and extramedullary. You can see the conus has been pushed upwards rather than expanding from within, so extramedullary. And it's avidly enhancing. Its location is very typical of choice D mexoblapid ependymoma in that vast majority of, of them do occur either by the conus or along the phylum terminale. The fact that you do see little meningeal metastasis, for example, you can see one in the distal part of the fecal sac, as well as the sugar coating around the conus. The fact that there is little meningeal metastasis should not deter you from making the diagnosis. In fact, among the choices, mexopapular pendulma is the one that likes to metastasize, and some reports suggest up to almost 40% of them would have CSF dissemination. And he also is more aggressive in younger patients in pediatric population. So overall, the best choice here is mexopapillary ependymoma. On the axial view, you can know that it is intradural and you don't see any expansion out into neural foramen. So what about other choices that's not as good uh, for this case? You should be able to, hopefully, you should be able to eliminate choice A and C pretty much right away. For astrocytoma, that's a intradural, but it's also intramedullary lesion. This one's clearly extramedullary, so A is out. For epidermal cyst, its enhancement pattern is completely wrong. Remember, epidermal cyst is a cyst, so if it enhances, it only have a peripheral enhancement. It should not enhance centrally like a solid tumor. So choice A, C should be eliminated right away. For choice B and E, meningioma and schwannoma, they are two of the most common intradural extramatural lesions in the spine. So by statistic, they are a good choice. But for the purpose of board exam, as far as classic appearance is concerned, for meningioma, hopefully I will show you one that should demonstrate a dural tail. And for schwannoma, I will show you a case like this where there's expansion or dumbbell-shaped lesion that has a intracanal and extracanal component with expansion of the neural foramina. It doesn't always have to look this way, but as far as classic picture goes, this is probably the one that I will show you, as demonstrated by Radiopedia. In addition, among those tumors, um, as I mentioned earlier, meningioma and benign schwannoma very rarely metastasize. Compare that to mexopapular pendomoma, they do uh, comparatively like to metastasize. And in addition, this is a classic location for D. So overall, mexopapular pendomoma is the best choice in this case. If you have any questions, let me know. Good luck on your exam.